Right. Recording is in progress. So I guess to get started, I'll kind of give like a quick little background of what's going on. Um, I'm Alexandra Golfis, and this is my partner, Stanley, uh, for grief counseling class. We are having to do a mock session. Um, we have different sketches that we can use to do um, a session based off of that. And our task is kind of to assess what stage of grief the client needs help getting through and using different counseling techniques to do so. So um, for this case, where is it? Which case was it? Mine, two. Number two. Okay, so for grief sketch number two, um, we have a 29-year-old and his wife of six years recently died of cancer four months ago, leaving him behind with a three-year-old son and a five-year-old daughter. Um, he overall reports having a good marriage and just feeling a lot of hurt, um, trying to find something to help. Or he's currently trying to find a way to kind of cut back the pain that he's currently feeling. Um, he's expressed that he believes getting remarried could help him kind of put all this behind him and that he's dated several women, but each time that he's gone on dates, he kind of ends up feeling more depressed than before, but he's still persisting that um, if he could get remarried soon, it would help his kids having a new mother and that he would feel better about himself. And he thinks that that'll make the pain be gone. So yeah, with that being said, I guess we'll pretend like he just walked on in. So I'll go ahead and welcome you in. Hi, welcome in Stan. How are you today? Oh, okay. And, you know, just, you know, one day at a time, you know, that's all you get. I mean, you know, I lost my wife and um, I have two children. One's pretty, you know, they're both pretty young, actually. But it, I just, I'm having such a hard time. I'm having such a hard time with, with the pain, but I feel like, I feel like it'd be so much better if I could just find another person, you know, um, some people think it's too quick, but I, you know, I, but I've been going on dates and every time I go on a date, I, you know, I think I like somebody, I start a relationship with them and then it just falls apart, you know, and I never can seem to find anybody. But I, I think, I think that if I could just grab a hold of someone, you know, and, and start a new life with a, a new wife, and they then I would have somebody for my kids um, to be there as a mother type of figure, and and so I didn't have to do it on my own. Um, but I I just can't seem I can't seem to get there, and I I just I don't know what to do. So, I'm kind of trying to take in what you're saying and make sure that I'm understanding it correctly you're kind of telling me that you're still feeling um, some pain while grieving your wife and you're trying to kind of go on dates to find a new way to adapt to life, but you're not having much luck with those dates. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's it. Um, I guess if you could go ahead and try and tell me what exactly is it about finding a new partner that you feel would help your pain? You know, my, my wife and I had such a, a good relationship. Um, and we did everything together, you know? And so being alone, it, especially with trying to raise the kids, but being alone period, just, I, I don't know how to do this. I, I don't know how to be alone. I mean, because for six years, it's been her and I, you know, and, and raising these kids and doing everything together. And, you know, and I'm, I miss, I miss that. I miss that communication. I miss the intimacy. I miss everything about it. And, and so I kind of think if, if I could just find someone else and, and they could fill that spot, you know, they, they could, I, I would, I'd have that person to talk to. I'd have that intimacy. I would have, I would have that person to be there for my kids and to help me with the kids. Well, I could definitely understand how having a partner could help you not only, you know, with day-to-day -day stuff. We all kind of like to have somebody with us, but also I can see 
why you're feeling maybe the kids could use another woman figure in their life. But how about you specifically? Is it just to have someone with you or is there any like specific things that you're looking for out of a partner? That, you know, I mean, that's a good question. I mean, there are specific things. I mean, she's got to be, you know, kind and and caring. I mean, my my wife was so awesome, and I miss her so much. And she's got to be kind, and she's got to be caring, and um, and good with kids. She's got to be good with kids. Um, so yeah, there are things that, but. You know, I also do, I do also think it would help with the pain. I mean, but it's not just that. It's not just the pain. So, um, so I guess it's kind of a combination. I can understand that. Um, I guess the next thing that just kind of pops up in my mind then from what you're telling me out of what you kind of want in your partner, you know, you're not asking for anything too crazy. So do you... Can you think of reasons why dating in the past hasn't quite worked out for you after trying to move on from your loss? I don't know. I think I'm doing everything right, you know. Um, and, but, you know, eventually they're good women that I've been seeing, but eventually they just, it's just like all of a sudden I'm just like, yeah, no, not I, not you. You know, and I, I can't, I just, I, I just can't go forward with anybody. It seems like it, it's because it's like every time, you know, you know what? <laughs> that makes me think, you know? Yeah, it kind of. Maybe, maybe it's because I, I just miss her so much, you know? And, and so maybe I'm really seeing I'm wanting to see her and not them. I don't know. Do you feel you've taken the time out to really process what all you've been through? You know, it's not easy and it, it's going to be hard to start anything new if you still haven't dealt with all of those feelings and emotions, right? Because they're going to keep being triggered by these other people that you're trying to move on with. Do you feel like that's kind of relatable? Am I? Am I ever going to move on? I mean, how? How? Yeah, just how? How do you move on? I mean, for six years, it was, it was us. And I say, was, I say move on, but it's never, it's not like whenever we go through grief, you know, one day, poof we're not going to feel that loss, you know, uh, y'all had a special bond, y'all had love, and that's never going to disappear or fade. But it'll come to a point where you can kind of recall your relationship and that love that y'all felt in a way that isn't quite so painful and can actually be like motivating for you, you know, to be like, okay, I found love like that once again, and I can again, but I, I think you might want to try and work through some of those pains more openly. You know, so far from what you've expressed to me, you're a father and you are toughing it out and doing the best that you can. But just like you would want your kids to, you know, talk to you and get those feelings out, you might need to do the same thing. Um, you know, I know we're older, so we don't really you know run to our moms and dads to do that. But I kind of had an idea and I wanted to see if it's something you'd be open to. Um, I kind of wanted to assign some homework. I know that can sound daunting, but it won't take more, but, you know, five, 10 minutes or however long you want to dedicate to it. It doesn't have to be a long novel or something. But I was thinking that maybe you could kind of just write a letter to your deceased wife and have it as a way to kind of process some of the pain, you know, talk about everything that you are feeling before, during, and after the best that you can, as comfortable as you are. And then maybe next session, we can kind of come together, read over that letter and hash out some of those hard feelings. I, I guess I could do that, you know? Okay. 
it kind of kind of feels weird writing to my wife that is no longer here but uh i understand what you're saying i mean help work through it by just writing down things that are going through my head and what yeah. what i would say to her and if yeah. you want to we can always kind of change the homework a little bit too we don't have to write it specifically to her but it can kind of just be even just like kind of a checklist of all these different emotions and ways you're feeling and an explanation behind it but that way we can go ahead and take a look at it and just see how we can view it and process through it so that way you won't have to always hold on to these memories in like a painful way but rather you can start to view these thoughts and feelings and challenge them and turn it into something positive that you can grow out of so, yeah i mean you're open to you know i was thinking when you were saying that it's kind of like kind of like journaling because she journaled you know and she she would she would write something every day in her journal i still have that and i actually cherish that man um but yeah you know i if she did it i could do it i you know so yeah i'll do that yeah and i almost kind of even like the sound of that like journaling sounds like it was very um therapeutic for your wife as well and in a way it could be therapeutic for you and it also is kind of a way where you can honor her memory you're taking care of yourself and you're doing an activity that you can remember positively that your wife engaged in as well so I'm hoping it's something that you'll um, really get some benefit out of but I know we're still new and still getting to know each other so if it ends up being something that you're like that was stupid it didn't work for me don't worry, you know, we're going to get to know each other better and start to figure out kind of what stuff works for you and what doesn't. So be as open and honest as you can with me. If it's something stupid, just tell me that's stupid. That won't work and we'll figure something else out. But mm. uh, we are nearing the end of our time. I know these sessions are so short. So I was trying to kind of keep an eye on the clock to notice whenever we're nearing the end. So I don't just, you know, bye after <laughs> talking <laughs> such uh, intense topics so i did want you to know that there are resources for you as well outside of you know my counseling office um so i can go ahead and send you some of those resources um through either the email that you provided or i'll give you a, a phone call or something like that to make sure that you don't feel like you're having to go through this alone because i think that's the biggest thing that um i personally would want out of grief is just to not feel so alone. So I want you to know that you you have um, resources that can help you get through this. Thank you. Not a problem, but I guess with that, we are all out of time. So I will see you a week from now. And was it okay for me to send those resources to your email or would you prefer a text? Yes, you can send them to the email. That's fine. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you, Stanley, for coming in. I will see you next week. Uh, just make sure to make that appointment on the way out. All right. Thank you. Alrighty, thank you. Now I got to see how to stop the recording. Where'd it go? There. <laughs>